forgot how much I like this mascara. Oh, here's the spoolie if you're curious. Looks like that. It's one of the plasticky spoolies, which I really prefer. I think this is pretty much toast. I should probably throw it away. I've had it a while and I used it a lot. I really like it. It's a really good brow gel. This is in the shade medium. Oh, oh, it's melty. It is hot where I live, but not that hot. We have our air conditioner set to 78. So it goes on at 78 and look at how melty and gloopy that is. It's actually really nice when it doesn't do that, but there's something to know. This is the ugh, Tower 28 Juice Bomb, and I will say I did get bombed. You know, when I first tried this, I did feel like it was really soft, so um, definitely quite soft. It looks beautiful, it feels really good, but it's I guess it's too soft. Anyway, so I am back with a video. I'm trying to do videos again. We'll see how it goes. Uh, there is a FabFitFun sale going on right now. So what I did is I gathered some of the things that I have from the sale and I thought I would just make a quick video where I talk about those things. I am going to hopefully one day get back into my lengthy videos that I do where I could record my computer screen, but I uh, do not have time for that now. So I am going to jump in. The first thing I have here is the Mad Skincare Glycolic Age Diffusing cleanser. This one I got, I don't know, it was a choice in a box a while ago and I'm almost done with it, thankfully. So I don't know if it does much for me as far as it being a glycolic cleanser, like an AHA cleanser. I use a lot of really nice skincare, but I can't say that I can point to this and say it's done anything notable for my skin. I also don't find it terribly enjoyable to use. It doesn't really have a scent. And it kind of has like a little bit of a scent. I would say it's fragrance free. It just kind of smells like whatever the product would smell like. So it smells somewhat, somewhat chemically a little bit. Um, it's not a terrible smell, but it's also not an enjoyable smell. It's a gel cleanser. I'm trying to squeeze a little bit out to show you, but like I said, it's almost gone. So I got like nothing. I mean, it looks like water, but that's it. It's a see-through gel cleanser and it's just not terribly enjoyable to use. I was using it to use it up and I am glad to be done with it. And then, so I have the Saturday Skin Cleanser that's available in the sale. This is their Rise and Shine gentle cleanser and i would say that i did enjoy this i used it for the first time last night in order to do this video and it is like a creamy cleanser so if you have dry skin then you might like this more than if you have oily skin i honestly i have dry skin so i can't really speak to how it works for oily skin but um it also smells a little bit my first impression was pink lemonade and it's kind of oh and then it kind of switched over to just lemons and then I started to think of lemon pledge but it wasn't hit me over the head lemon pledge reminiscence which is something that happens to me a lot with lemon scented stuff I think there's like a small group of people where that's a big problem and I fall into that group of people and then when I was using it it kind of did this like half lotion, half sudsy kind of action on my face. I did find it really enjoyable. That was the first impression though. I don't like to do reviews with first impressions because I feel like 50% of the time they're not really my final impression. So, but I did like it at first and for five bucks, I would say why not give this a try? I am excited to continue to use it. So there's my review on that one. Another thing that I have from the sale, this is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Nightcap Overnight Perfector. It's in the sale. It's probably $19 or something in the sale. I got this like three years ago when I first joined FabFitFun. It might be four years ago at this point. So I honestly have not been able to figure out a way to make this work for me. It has the signature 
living proof scent, which oh, I really like. It's kind of like this expensive salon fragrance that I find really enjoyable. And it just looks like this. And you're supposed to put it on your hair, your dry hair, and you're supposed to let it work its way in. It's exactly kind of the concept where you put it on at night and then you sleep with it on and you let it do its thing and then you can wash your hair or not the next morning. I think the idea is actually that you do wash your hair and style it. Let's read the directions. Apply to damp or dry hair before bed from roots to ends. Comb through, leave in, or wash out in the morning. Fast absorbing pillow if safe. Use as often as needed. So I don't really know. I couldn't make it work for me. I couldn't make it worth the money, even though at the time it was when FabFitFun sales were like dirt cheap, but I probably only got it for like five or nine dollars. I miss those days. The sales are not what they used to be, but they're still good deals. Honestly, if you've ever used this, please is leave a comment let me know how I can make it work for me I probably still have like half of it left so I would not purchase this again I'm not going to I haven't repurchased it obviously I've had it for years and I'm still stuck with it so and the next thing that I am currently using right now and this is only five bucks in the sale and I would say it's worth that price if you want an overnight sleep lot mask or even a moisturizer but I gotta say it took some getting used to to use it and this is what is it you ask this is the pure heels propolis 80 sleeping pack and this is a mask the surprising thing about it when i opened it was like it's kind of like a jelly and i did not i did not expect that and that's what i've had to get used to i didn't really love that about it so you can see it's like kind of like a gel and um, maybe that kind of makes sense because it's propolis. If you don't know what propolis is, it's derived from bees. It's Propolis is the substance that bees make when they mix their saliva with tree sap. And it's kind of like a glue that holds their hives together. I don't, I don't know what they use it for, but that is what propolis is. And so people have started to use it in products. So it is derived from bees. So if you're vegan, you'd want to stay away from propolis. But what I have been using, it's also K-Beauty, FYI, Pure Heels is K-Beauty. What I have been using this for lately is as my moisturizer, and I've been putting it over, uh, what am I using right now? I've been putting it over the Earth Harbor Marina Biome Brightening and Pool. And then I've been using this La Coes oil. This was sent to me for free and it is lovely. Um, so I put this on, then this on, and then this on at night. I have dry skin again, so I do oil and moisturizer. It's been really nice uh, and it's got kind of a cooling sensation, which is also nice for summer. And I have gotten used to the jelliness of it. So for five bucks, this is uh, a good deal if you think you won't be bothered by the fact that it's like a jelly. Okay, so then the next thing I have less like skincare and beauty. I have one beauty product I'm going to use and do a first impression right now, um, but I think I'll just do that last. So the next thing that I have, this is one of the Summer and Rose uh, reusable bags. So this, I have not opened it. So this is how it comes. I was really curious how this was gonna come. I got reusable bags for just, I don't, I need them. So I, I went ahead and bought it. $8.99 is a really good deal for three pack of reusable bags. So this is how it comes. It comes like all tucked in it to itself, like a little envelope. Let's see, I haven't opened it yet. Let's see how it looks. How big is it? It's a good size. So it's a good size. I think it was something like 25 inches wide. Does that look like 25 inches? I could be wrong, but it's definitely at least 20 inches. Anyway, so I think, I think this is a really good deal three pack for $8.99. These are $3 each and they're all really sturdy and they came folded up like I showed you. So if you are in need of some reusable bags, that would be a good deal. I went ahead and bought um, two. Uh, one was a different color, two different color, uh, three packs. And then I have this bracelet. So this is available in the sale right now. And 
it is definitely not worth the retail. It is definitely cheap materials, cheap metal. It feels lightweight, but you know what? It doesn't look cheap and it has, it, these are cubic, <laughs> these are cubic zirconia. So that's kind of, um, that's nice, right? Cubic zirconia for, I don't know. It's, it's nice. It looks okay. It looks okay. And it kind of passes, I think, for looking like it's higher quality than it is. If you don't love this design though, I will tell you there are definitely options on Amazon where you can go and seek out inexpensive, decent jewelry for between 10 and $20. So if you don't love this design, but you you think, hey, I kind of like that, you could go seek it out on Amazon, get something that's more your style. But that's what that looks like. And it was, I think it's like $11 in sale. So not bad. And then in jewelry, so this is the coach necklace. It is really lovely, really dainty. I am kicking myself. I don't know where the heck I put the earrings. I will tell you when it arrived, the one of the posts on the earrings was bent and I was able to bend it back really easily. So they're fine. They are a little bit bigger than I thought they would be. They're probably, oh, I wish I had them. I would show you. I'm so mad at myself. I don't know where they are. So we'll skip talking about the earrings, but the earrings are, are nice. I think I like the necklace better. Here's the necklace, nice little dainty thing. And then one thing I don't like about it though, is it's one of those necklaces where this is just kind of stuck where it is. It doesn't slide back and forth like a pendant does. So if like for some reason it gets shifted over to the side and you're sweaty and sticky like I often am, <laughs> it doesn't just fall right back to the center. You have to make sure to kind of check it sometimes so it's not off, but um, that is it. And it's, it's pretty, right? I dislike when they have just like this, and I've said it so many times on my channel, I really just look like when they put the retail price as like a hundred and something dollars and it's made of brass. It's made of gold or rhodium plated brass. And it's like, <laughs> that's, so silly. So anyway, so that's what the deal is here. You're really just buying the name, but it's in the sale right now for like eight bucks. It's out of stock. You have to play the refresh game to try to get it, but I was able to get it by playing the refresh game. If you want to get it and like give it as a gift, you can give somebody the name coach as a gift of some jewelry. That's actually quite pretty. Uh, so that's my review on that. Um, I am going to get two, I think, to have on hand as gifts. And then I have a bunch of the London Town stuff that's available in the sale. I do like them as a nail care brand. I, I gotta say something recently, no matter what I do, I can't get my nail polish when I do it at home to last more than a few days. And I don't blame the brand. I don't know what I need to do in my routine to make it last longer. If you have tips, please let me know. But this is the nail concealer. I also have the Trio that's the Perfecting Nail Veil, and those are semi-opaque, and they look really lovely on if you just want like a clean look to your nails. Um, I think that that's, that. I know, I don't think, I know that that's my favorite look to my fingernails. I like a fun color on my toes, and then I like like a kind of classy, uh, look on my nails or black. Sometimes I'll just go really bold and black or dark blue, but that's my favorite. So this is the uh, Illuminating Nail Concealer. It's available in the sale and I do recommend London Town products. Okay, speaking of London Town products, here is the nail file. I really just bought this more for elegance. I think this is available in the sale. Maybe the foot, the foot file it definitely is, but I think I saw this in the sale. Now I'm kind of questioning myself. Anyway, five bucks. It's not a rough nail file. It's really fine. So it's only for like touch-ups. You don't want to like completely shape all your nails with this. You'll just go insane. It'll be too long. Um, but it is nice and it's kind of a nice thing to keep on your desk at work because um, it looks just classy and you can just if you snag a nail then it's perfect just to clean up that one nail okay I haven't done a video in a while and my voice is like going so these are available in the sale I got this in the last sale they're the day daily contact concepts I'm, tr I'm probably not gonna edit this video so I'm doing my best um, they're the daily concepts uh, scrunchies and what I like about them is they're like a terry cloth material so when I wash my face at the sink I do the trick where I put scrunchies on my wrist to catch the water and it helps so much because it's so annoying when you're washing your face and you have just the water dripping down. So I saw these for $2.99 and I thought, well, that's perfect 
perfect because they're terry cloth and i will just use that's that's what i'll use these for and actually feeling them they're they feel really good really nice and they're not small or anything they're a really good size so 2.99 for two scrunchies that are great to use when you wash your face as wrist wrist guards or yeah. And then here's another daily concepts thing that I had purchased many sales ago. And this is just a towel, terry cloth headband. And I have a huge head and I remember this being like kind of hard to get on. Let me see how this worked out for me. I haven't, obviously I don't use it. So I don't recommend it because I don't use it. But if it's something, oh God, <laughs> such a big head so if it's this is something that you would use when you wear a face mask or something actually now I'm kind of like huh I should probably get this out more often now I'm, well, okay I'll probably get this out more often so anyway there's a little demo of this I was gonna say I don't recommend it if you think that you won't ever pull it out to use it but now I'm kind of like well maybe I will so I'll give you an update on that one but there you go if there's a demo on that product and then I think we're gonna wrap this up. I'm ready to wrap this up with a first impression of the Philip Kingsley Styling Finishing Touch Serum. It's not a serum. Yeah, polishing serum. It's a serum. Uh, smooths, frizz, and adds shine. So you can tell that I am someone who gets frizzy, right? So let's see what this does live on camera. Okay, so. Ah! This is what it looks like. Like, it looks like a gel. Oh, it's quite thick. It's not sticky. Let's see how this goes. Um, if I like it a lot, maybe I'll hurry up and try to add a second one to my cart, or another one to my cart. I got this in the last sale. How does it smell? It smells good. It's fragranced. It smells good. Um, it's not overwhelming. Somewhat perfumey. Ooh. Oh, I like it. It's growing on me. Oh, it's a lovely smell. I I like this. Let me see if my hair still kind of feels like touchable after. I think it will. This is not in the sale, but what I've been using lately is the pattern um curl gel and i really like it i'll do a separate video about it but long story short i do like it i think i need to be a little bit more careful and less hasty with how i put it in because i'm doing some things to my hair that i just like right now but my first impression is that i think i can make it work for me I think I can make it work, especially when you're trying to like revive three day old hair and you aren't able to take a shower and you just need a product that you can put in to help make it look new. I think that this, that, that was why I bought it. So hopefully I can make it work. Mm. I do like the smell. It isn't sticky. My hair doesn't feel sticky. It definitely feels more rigid than it did before I put it in, but that curl gel makes it feel like there's nothing in my hair, which I really, really like. So my hair moves really nicely. And now I feel, darn it, I feel like there's something in my hair. Um, I'm hoping that it'll soak into the cuticle and I will feel less like that. But that's my first impression of this and it's available on the sale right now. So happy shopping. I hope this was helpful in my next video or next couple of videos. I will give an update at the end of one of those for those of you who are curious about how I've been doing. And I hope you have a wonderful 4th of July if you're in America. If you're not in America, and you probably don't give a hoot about that. And that's also okay. Sometimes I don't. This country of mine is crazy right now. Um, so anyway, I love you all. I will see you in my next video. Bye.